Hi Denise, it's Gwendolyn here. Really great to see your next set of essays. I had wondered where you had gone, um, but great to know that you've been working um, on your English writing sort of outside of our course and been practicing. Really great to see your error list. I could see that you worked really hard on that. Um, I think that's really important because I think without knowing where our mistakes are, we can't really improve and focus on where we need to focus. So let's go ahead and get started on your essays today. Let's look at your, firstly, your task two here on technology. I thought you did a really good job with this. Um, you answered both sides of the task response. Um, some good ideas, good examples to back them up. Um, a really clear and coherent essay. Some good vocabulary throughout. A couple of grammatical things I want to point out to you. So let's go ahead and read through it. Technology has changed positively our life in the last decade. Let's look at this sentence. In this sentence we have our subject and our verb and then our object, which is great. But what you've done here is you've put your adjective positively behind the verb. So normally what we do, Denise, is we put the uh, adjective in front of the verb. So we would say technology has positively changed. And then here are lives. Um, L-I-V-E-S, our lives. We were talking about more than one of us in the last decade. But the main thing I want you to remember here is that your adjective comes before your verb, positively changed. Um, so what I would like you to do, Denise, is um, I want you to write, you know, 10 different sentences, very short sentences, where you have your, um, your subject, your adjective, your verb, and then your object. So come up with maybe 10 different sentences, very short sentences like this one. Um, so it shouldn't take you too long, but I want you to write out 10 different sentences. So you practice using, putting the adjective in front of the verb. Okay. If you could do that, that would be great. Um, and so I can do 10 sentences like that and I can have a look at it. Okay, great. Let's move on. In my own, in my opinion, people ought to be more adaptable to new, to new technological advances that might help them to become more knowledgeable. This essay will analyze the collaboration between workers and equipment, as well as the increase of intellectual activity due to the use of devices. Good. Otherwise, good, strong essay, Denise. On one hand, good. Great to see you using this idiom. What we need, you've forgotten your the there. So we should say on the one hand. It is essential that workers can familiarize, uh, familiarize, good to have a pronoun here, themselves. Essential that workers can familiarize themselves with the human machine interaction. This is because companies often use advanced, with a D, advanced technology in their processes and activities, which may perform repetitive tasks and important decisions faster and uh, working on comparative forms, I've been doing this with some students in class this week, um, reminded that when we have uh, comparative forms, we're talking about how human or machines can be uh, more faster than humans, so we're comparing. Faster is right here, but with accurately, you need that comparative form word more. Um, so if the word's quite a long word, instead of adding er, we use the word more just to show the comparison between technology and the person. So be sure to add that uh, when you're comparing and you've got a, a longer word, something with more than um, two syllables. So uh, repetitive task and important decisions faster and more accurately than a person. For example, some airports use automa automation systems that can place more emphasis on scanning documents while workers may observe and interview attentively uh, Observe, and here we go. We've got this again. We've got um, interview, our verb, and our, our adjective is behind. So really the adjective needs to be in front. The workers may observe and attentively interview the passengers. Or the, yeah, the passengers. Yeah, so just be mindful of that. Your adjective comes before the verb or before the noun, not afterwards. Therefore, it is clear that if workers gain more adaptation to advanced technology, there will be more positive implications in different industry sectors. Good. Really good paragraph, Denise. Um, a great idea and really good example to back up that idea. On the other hand, online information 
enhances with an S our intellect. This is due to the fact that internet users can access, don't need the word to here, can access a variety of websites where it is possible to learn facts and new information quickly from any part of the world. A recent study from Harvard indicates that young adult, young adults, plural, talking more than one, score 30% higher in tests of general knowledge compared with 10 years ago. Uh, and this is a semicolon, so we can't add uh, two complete sentences with a comma. Put a semicolon because they're very closely related. This is due to the availability of online newspapers, magazines, and books. Thus, it is clear that the internet might help us to effortlessly absorb new material and improve intellectual skills. Good. And that, again, another really good uh, paragraph, great idea, good example. To conclude, comma, I believe that it is valuable to enhance the adaptation of human-machine interaction and is likely that online information often encourages within us, us to develop our knowledge. Good, Denise, really good essay. Overall, um, very well structured. Um, good. Uh, I think we're doing, you've got the structure down really well. You're writing really well. So what I want you to be working now on in these task twos is to make sure you're getting them written within the time frame. You know, aim for 40, 40 minutes to write and review. So let me know where you are in your time frame now, uh, how long it's taking you to write these. Because I think that's, if you're not doing it within 40 minutes, that's what we, the next step we need to work on. Okay, do that and then also do you write your 10 sentences, make up 10 sentences where you've got the adjective in front of the verb. Okay, let's look at your task one. Great, Denise, I just read through your task one. Again, I thought you did a really good job with this. Um, good comparison and contrasting of the data. Um, very well written essay. Let's go ahead and read through it. The bar graph compares the possible visits, plural with an S, of tourists from three nationalities, good, great vocabulary, to London, Paris, Madrid, and Istanbul during 2018. Overall, it is expected that American citizens will travel in a higher number to these destinations compared with Mexican and Canadian tourists during this year. Good. Really good introduction. Uh, paragraph there. Destinations. Good vocabulary. In 2018, it is predicted that American tourists will be the highest number of visitors to Paris, London and Madrid at 100,000, 80,000 and roughly 70,000 tourists respectively. In contrast, comma, Canadian citizens, plural, you had a, quite a few incidences, Denise, where you've left, left off the S and haven't made things plural. So something you really should watch out for, something you should check for whenever you, if you have time at the end of your essays to review, um, you know, missing those plural forms. Uh, in contrast, Canadian citizens will choose Istanbul as a first option at approximately 70,000 tourists. However, Mexican tourists are likely to visit predominantly. Here we've done it again. We've put our adjective behind um, the verb. So we need the adjective in front of the verb. So it would say, however, Mexican tourists are likely to predominantly visit Madrid at around 65,000 visitors. Again, something else you should add to your error list. But I think after you do my 10 sentences, you won't forget. On the other hand, tourists from Mexico are expected to be the lowest number of visitors to Istanbul and London at 20,000 tourists each. And also, and they will also, and they will also travel to Paris in a slightly similar number at roughly 25,000 people. Good, great to use, you're using a different word here than tourist. I was starting to get an overuse of tourists, so good to use uh, a different word every now and again. By contrast, the number of Canadian citizens, good, you've used a different word there again, is predicted to be the smallest visiting Madrid in 2018 at around 65,000 uh, tourists. Um, good. Yeah, I can see you've tried to use some different words, tourist, people, citizens, visitors. It's good. If you can think of any more, that would be great. It's really tough, this particular essay, because um, you do have to end up repeating those words a lot. i really great to see you've tried to use some different ones, uh, but if you can think of some more, that would be good.
Good, Denise. These were really two, um, two excellent essays. Um, they were very easy for me to read and comprehend, and that's where we really want to get to. So the two main things from both of these essays that I think you need to work on is making sure you use your plurals when you need to. Um, so you've often forgotten to include your S to turn a word, a noun, into a plural. It's something you need to look at. And then just this um, issue of putting adjectives uh, in the right place. So an adjective becomes before the verb or before the noun if you have it in front of a noun, both the times you've used it, you've used it in front of verbs. So as I said, uh, in addition to the other work I want you to do, I want you to create 10 sentences with a subject, additive verb, and then your object, okay? Just to practice that sentence form. Great, Denise. Um, yeah, again, as before, I still want you to add any mistakes to your error list, particularly those two I just mentioned also any other ones that I've uh, pointed out. I want you to correct these two essays with the suggestions given. Um, watch the next set of podcasts if there are any, and then go ahead and write uh, the next two set of essays along with your 10 sentences and get those back to me as soon as you can so I can have a look at your error list, your corrected essays, um, your two new essays and your 10 sentences all at one time. Okay, great Denise. Um, Keep up the fantastic work. You're writing really well now. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next essay soon. Bye for now.